All right, our rise business analysts, aviation analysts, banking analysts. Uh, what, else, what else? Chika Mbonu is with us this morning. Chika, good morning to you. <laughs> morning, Rutus. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks good, for joining good, us. Good, good, good. Um, lots to discuss. We're going to get to FX as well. But yeah, we'll, what get, you... we'll get to FX, FX yeah. okay, hopefully. And um, I, I think um, we heard the Minister of Aviation talk or speak about the, 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 the road, the, the road, road roadmaps <laughs> yes. for he chosen. He spoke about three. Mm. Now, 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 I'll flip it back for you. Yeah. And and um, Mr. Kayamo just yeah. resumed. He's about two weeks old in that yeah. uh, that job. Yeah. Remember also, he wasn't a preferred minister. Mm. He was um, um, he was nearly forgotten, and um, <laughs> then they brought his name back. was added at the last minute. Uh, <laughs> subsequently, so. It's not as if he came there prepared with programs and policies. Right. Would, you're going to prepare, prepare uh, implementing aviation. Excellent point. I have a feeling that this is we are on the ground. Mm -hmm. And it's not surprising because this is already on the ground. The truth is, is that there were about eight points in the, in the, in the roadmap mm -hmm. that he, then he selectively picked three. Yeah. Now, let me go through with you on the eight Concession of our airports, mm -hmm. he didn't talk about that. Yeah. He's quietly kept that aside. It's admission of national carrier Nigerian Air. You know how the notoriety that that name you know, connotes. Yes. He stepped put aside. The development of agro allied cargo terminal, he didn't talk about that one. It's admission of uh, maintenance, repairs, and overhaul of facility MROs. He thought about that one. Yeah. Critical. Um, because if you know the amount of the quantum of foreign exchange, that Nigerian airlines spend in moving the aircraft out of Nigeria to for for even the the simplest of the repairs. Yeah. You know, th this is very important. It's surprising that that has not happened. Um, Talked about um, a submission aviation leasing company. You know, that is included in the roadmap. That, you know, actually selective. Yeah. You know, is, is, so selective. Yeah. Mm, very important because of the fact that um, it costs a lot to lease aircraft. Indeed. Um, um, one of the reports um, by IATA said Nigerian African Airlines, including Nigerian Airlines, pay three times the lease rentals that other European airlines pay yeah. um, on, you know, for to lease aircraft. Um, the moment uh, uh, at Aerotropolis, Airport Cities, which he mentioned, also he, he took that one, yeah. you know. So that, you know, then it's, it's a submission of very space university. You know, remember that one has been done in Daura yeah. by um, Rotimi, Rotimi, Governor Rotimi, as a gift to our former president yeah. and improvements aviation. So he's chosen the, these are not original thoughts. These are things that existed already before he took over, yeah. which is very important that the government should be a continuity. And I'm hoping that. Um, um, he has thought through these things and the original ideas of his. Mm. Because from what I know about the Nigerian aviation industry, there are a lot of hangers on there. You know, um, you go to this uh, uh, airline operators on Nigeria, you see some people who don't have single aircraft there, you know, masculine as executives of airline operators on Nigeria, for example, and then in the mix of those um, who, are, who have aircraft. Uh, so these are critical, critical things. But you see, the, the problem with Nigeria is, I thought about in this program always, is rigor, mm. lack of rigor in the things that we do. I'll give you an example. Look at the Abuja airport. The Abuja airport, when it was built, you know, um, they didn't talk about power, right. sewage, water, you know, connectivity between the terminals, mm. you know, the severe underground infrastructure. The foundation was shaking. Control tower blocked the wrong way. Wow. So you, 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 you marvel at those who plan these airlines, mm. uh, these uh, this airports. Yeah. What, what are they thinking about? Now, you also have been following the, the press of the, of the confusion at the migration from the Mutala Mohammed International Airport to the new one. Yes. And see the chaos that has been created there. Simply because of the fact that, you know, the airport of that $200 million was planned. Nobody thought about how the aircraft will, passengers will move from the airport into the aircraft. Mm. And then you have some buildings there, they were blocking the wrong way. Nobody thought about them. Yeah. It's Nigeria only where you build a power plant that will use gas. It's only when you finish building the power plant, remember, I say, ah, where would the gas come from? Yeah. So it's a lack of free go in the things that we do. You know, so 
one thing that I, he didn't mention there, which is very important for me, is the concession of the airports. Right. You know, see, um, 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 I'm, I'm addressing them. Airports are not being, can't be managed by civil servants. Right. You need to go to the Motor Mahal Airport, now, the one that got caught for the one that exists, this is the one that, that moved to the, you know, to know the kind of thing that we have there. You go to the toilets that are smelly. Mm. The, hand, the toilet uh, seats have all fallen off. The toilet, rollers, uh, 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 toilet roller holders have all fallen off. You see some women, they're sitting at the door holding toilet roll for you to this thing. Uh, say, greet your help also. Meanwhile, one minute or two away to a private lounge. You see the difference, right. telling you that these things can be better managed. That's a private lounge within the same airport. Same, with the same right, airport. Right, right, right. The right. same airport. Yeah, yeah. You, you look at the, the, the conveyor beds. If you, you take a, a six hour flight from London, or five hours from South Africa and land here, sometimes spend two hours at the airport waiting for your luggage to come. Mm. When your boxes come out, you know, they are, sometimes they are torn. And the heat in the hall there is, you know, terrible. So, these are managed by a fan, civil servants. And that, those are people that want to manage a new airport. Mm, I see your point. Those are people who want to manage the Abuja airport. And people are going on. And so, you know, we, we fool ourselves a lot in this country. There are things we have the ability to do, and we don't have the ability to do. These airports were built to borrow money. Let us look after them. So when they talk about concession to airports, it's not about uh, unions or whatever. The welfare of employees or from fan and whatever can be taken care of properly. So there'll be continuity. They can be retrained mm. by the new takers of those airports. But let's do the right thing for our country. You know, if, you know, you require a visit of uh, the VP to go to the airport. Suddenly, you see people scampering around. Suddenly, you know, uh, things are working. Once once he leaves, it things stop working. You know, yeah. that, that's the difference. So as you said, private lounges within the same airport, things are working. The general shared areas are, are a disaster. Yeah. You know, toilets are a mess. Conveyor belts are a mess. And so, concession of airports should be a major issue. Mm. It has nothing to do with any loyalty or whatever. This has to be done for the interest of our, our country. Yeah, sure. yeah. Well said, Chika. Quickly, mm. I want to get your thoughts on the, the BDCs. Um, mm. They're asking for increased capital, well, minimum capital <laughs> threshold. <laughs> I want to you you know, get your you thoughts know, on this. You may not know that 2005, mm. there were only 74 BDCs in the country. 74? Yeah. But as a last count, there were about 5,700. So it became, you know, an all commerce thing. Yeah. Everybody wanted to live on the arbitrage. Remember mm -hmm. we talked about in this program that when the premium is high, yeah. even the cents join in the, in, the, in, the, in the campaign. So everybody had, and by the time we had about 5,700 BDCs, we were told about 2,000 applications we were waiting. Wow. 35 million on our capital. Of course, when, when they merge, Capital 350, yeah, maybe 10 will club together to become a, this, uh, 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 a, new, a new BDC. Yeah. But you see, you know, you know, each time you talk about this and I ask you, how would this contribute to supply? To supply? Yeah. How would this lead to increase in supply of foreign exchange? Yeah. And that's a, because that's a major country's major problem. If it keeps changing the sharing mechanism, it does not help us mm. because. A cup of rice among 10 children, change the chef 10 times, it's still a cup of rice. Right. So our major problem in this country is what? The source supply. supply, expanding the supply of foreign exchange. Not the BDCs really, and how many BDCs there are. Of course, we know their problems. But of course, when the BDCs are made bigger and so on and so forth, uh, they can take on more. Maybe their roles will be redefined. Yeah. But I, as I keep saying, our major challenge now is what? Expanding the supply of foreign uh, Exchange, exchange. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and as far as we're not dealing with that, you're gonna see a problem with sharing the few that we have, and that's what everybody is campaigning how to get a, a piece of the pie, yeah. and so they can move you from that seven hundred and something from CV and again and sell it at nine nine something. It's nine nine forty uh, now. Nine forty. <laughs> you know, anybody who says I'm not the lender, person come and con uh, challenge challenge me. Let's argue. Yeah. Because everybody who's campaigning for allow us into the foreign exchange market, allow us into the foreign exchange market. Nobody's stopping stopping you from bringing, bringing foreign exchange into our country. Allow us the exchange market was let us start to be buying, collecting from and be selling. Right. Right. And so we can get, make arbitrage opportunity. That's what it is. Let nobody fool us. 
Wow. Uh, in fact, I, I want to link this to the aviation. Uh, first of all, said they will try and talk to CBN to allocate money to the airlines. Where, it's, where it's is that going to be? It's not an issue of allocating money. It says yeah. let them hold quarterly, right. quarterly meetings. Right, 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 right. Uh, adding quarterly meetings or yeah. something like that. But you see, the issue is that if the market, FX market is really, really, really free, yes. the market as they are thought about, no, you don't need anybody's intervention. Exactly. Exactly. You know, there's no CBN dollar again, remember? Yeah. There's no CBN allocation of dollar again. Right. You just have one uh, Nigerian foreign exchange market where everybody goes to go and buy, you know, you put there, you go and bid, if you get a price, you 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 um you get your dollars. Yeah. And so but see there are a couple of things happening in that market that we are not at liberty to talk about now. Mm. I'm sure with if a fluction of time a lot of things become clearer. Because why is still the market holding below eight hundred? Right. Where the other market is at nine, yeah, nine, nine, something. nine something. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, remember when this started initially, we were all clapping because the disparity, was, the premium was very, yeah, very, was small, very small, 15 naira. Yeah. Now it's gone to 200 something naira. Yeah. How did that? See, that's what somebody told me initially. I said, Shika, you, all of you pu 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 pushing for free market. What's going to happen was that this dollar, this dollar market will just be a mirage. Right. The dollar rate will just be continue to run, run away from the listen until supply mm. comes into the market. Yeah. And I keep saying in this program, under the reasons that to make people go to the alternative market disappear, mm. you, this alternative market will, will exist. Continue to thrive. And continue to thrive. Yeah. And that's what it is. Arise Business Analyst, Chika Mboni. Chika, as always, a pleasure having you to break these issues down Thank for you. us. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. Thank you. Thank you.